And we're seeing more devastating images out of Lahaina tonight. People jumping into a resort pool to survive the flames. The governor says more than 100 people have died and a thousand more are still missing. Of those who've died, sadly, very few have been identified. There are also new images tonight showing the likely cause of some fire starts downed power lines. And more relief from California is on the way to Maui as we speak. Local relief efforts help collect money and food for the victims impacted by those wildfires. ABC 10's Garsh Paul Sanga explains how the community's generosity exceeded expectations for one donation drive. The mission was simple. The Longshore locals reached out to each other, started sending flyers. Collecting donations for Maui. But what ended up? overwhelming with the generosity from our, our city. Was beyond even Tim Campbell's wildest dreams. Actually, the community coming together is actually overwhelming. We have no idea it was going to turn out this big. On this day, there wasn't a short supply of plastic wrap. Or how many times a forklift climbed into the truck bed. Only one day to get the word out. The donation drive turned into this. I'm more in shock than anybody in this whole place because I thought we were going to have enough to do four or five pickup loads and we had somebody donate a whole container and a truck to drive it down to San Francisco for us because it was so big there was no way we could do it. Household items, medical supplies, water and food lined up at the Port of West Sacramento's Harbor Boulevard entrance. Local farmers donated more than 8,000 pounds of rice. The International Longshore and Warehouse Unions of Sacramento, Stockton and San Francisco came together to host this donation drive. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a great day. Over in downtown Sacramento, the Salvation Army set up a canteen at the Capitol Mall Farmers Market, helping raise money for victims. If a million people give a dollar, it's a million dollars. We could do a lot of good with that in the island. The Salvation Army in Lahaina, providing more than 7,000 meals a day to people displaced by the fire, as well as emotional and spiritual care. The people of Maui need help. Uh, they need hope, and they need people with hearts to give. Giving in more than one way. The community came together in, in such a collective effort, it, it's, it's heroic. That was ABC 10's Garsh Paul Sunga reporting the donated items will arrive in San Francisco tomorrow and then take the three-day journey by boat to Hawaii. If you want to donate, visit this story on our website, abc10.com, or scan the QR code on your screen with your phone's camera. And thank you to everyone who's donated. We've already raised more than $15,000.